When you switch your role from a seller to a broker on Fiverr, you could free up your time because you can now outsource the job to freelancers. But this doesn't mean that you can stop working. Instead, fully utilize your time to generate traffic to your profile. No matter how cool or fabulous your gig is, you are not going to generate any sales if your profile is not visible to your potential clients. Thus, generating traffic to the profile becomes as important as delivering quality work. This is a time-consuming task, which requires a lot of effort. Hence, now that you have freed up your time by outsourcing the jobs to freelancers, you can focus on generating traffic to your profile. You have to get the word out about your gig and give them a reason to visit your profile. The first way of doing it is by spreading the news on social media platforms. As you already know, social media platforms can be a powerful tool nowadays. The news can be spread on the media like a contagious virus within hours. Start with creating your own fan page and promote your gigs on social media platforms. This would be the fastest and cheapest way. The cost for doing this can be said to be near to zero, as you do not need to pay anything for people to see it. Other than just promoting your gig through your fan page, join groups or forums that are related to Fiverr. Search for groups in Facebook. There are plenty of groups available. However, always look for active ones. If they are a closed group, request to join them. Once you have gotten the approval, start talking to the people there. Introduce yourself and start a conversation with the people there. Other than making the announcement of your gig over there, you can research on how other sellers promote their gig, especially the top-rated sellers in the group. Besides looking for opportunities on Facebook, you can post your status on Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube as well. Though social media platforms can be a really powerful tool to promote your gigs and increase the traffic to your profile, one thing that you can't forget is the star ratings on Fiverr. Even though people may click on your link and go to your profile, if your star rating is not as good as other sellers, you may lose them forever. Thus, accumulating a massive number of positive feedback to maintain your rating is essential. It is recommended that you keep your profile rating as 4 or above out of the 5. Visitors evaluate sellers based on the star rating nowadays. They compare the star rating of sellers and pick the one with a higher rating. When your profile has a higher star rating and more positive feedback than negative feedback, visitors are more likely to choose you over the others. Another great way to generate traffic to your profile is by focusing your profile to a targeted niche. Unlike aiming for the general market, you are now focusing on just one market. Instead of getting everyone to see your profile, you need to be picky on your clients now. To do this, you will need to do a bit of optimization on your gig description. For instance, instead of using general keywords such as a logo and video, change it to a business logo or speed drawing video. When you use a gig description like this, you are at the same time narrowing down the market. If this sounds bad, it's actually not. When you're focusing on a targeted niche, visitors are more likely to get your profile in the search results when they are looking for specific services on Fiverr. Do some research on the hot keywords that visitors will usually search for on Fiverr, and then optimize your gig description with those keywords. This way, when visitors search for specific services, chances that your gig page appears in the home page are higher. Aim for a focused niche and get quality clients on Fiverr. Last but not least, you can conduct your own advert campaigns on social media platforms such as Facebook and YouTube. If you own a Facebook fan page, you can run an advert campaign with it. Once you've created the campaign and set up the targeted group which you wish to show your ad, you could possibly get connected to the untapped users that you never knew would be interested in your service. Beyond Facebook, Twitter would be the largest social media platform people always hang out on. You can post your status and even create your own hashtag that will link to any of your social media profiles. If you have a video to promote your gig, you can upload it to YouTube and run an ad campaign for it. You may think running advert campaigns on Facebook and YouTube may incur huge costs, but the good news is you run everything under your control. You can set your own budget on how much you would spend for the campaign. I will not talk about how to set up your advert campaigns here because it's a totally different ballgame. Moving on, if you have your own website or even your own mailing list, do not hesitate to mail out your gig offer to them. 
According to research, 44% of email recipients make at least one purchase based on a promotional email. From this statistic, you can see that people actually open and make a purchase from promotional emails. If you already have a mailing list, do not hesitate to send them your offer. If you do not have one, it's time to start building one. You leave a lot of money behind without building up your own mailing list. You can send them the promotional emails whenever you have a new gig or new product to share with them. 